select the best fitting adjustment arm. Slide it onto the cutting block and position the tip of the hook posteriorly on the anatomical neck. Align the slot of the cutting block with the anterior neck. Pre-drill the 3.2 mm pinholes as required. Insert a 3.2 mm pin through one of the distal holes of the cutting block. Insert a second pin into a second distal hole. Slide the cutting block back to remove the adjustment arm. Resect the humeral head using a saw blade. The resection should precisely correspond to the plane of the anatomical neck. Remove all the instruments. Determine the head size based on your pre-operative planning and by size comparison of the resected humeral head with the trial heads. Center the positioning disc on the resection plane aligned with the outer cortical border. The laser marking with the head size indicator should be positioned laterally at the 12 o'clock position. Fix the positioning disc with at least three 3.2 millimeter pins. Insert the pre-impactor using the positioner with gentle hammer strokes. It is mandatory to hold the positioner orthogonally to the resection plane. Insert the pre-impactor until the stopper is completely flush with the positioning disc. Pull off the pre-impactor with slight hammer strokes on the underside of the positioner handle. Place the stem impactor upside down in the slot of the positioning disc. A distance of 3 to 5 millimeters to the inner cortical border is recommended. Drive in the selected stem impactor until the stopper is completely flush with the positioning disc. Unscrew the positioner and remove it together with the 3.2 mm pins and the positioning disc. Use an appropriately sized cover disc to protect the resection surface of the humerus. The size of the implant can be determined using the templates. The template is intended not for the correct orientation and insertion of the Kirschner wire, but for marking the entry point. Insert the Kirschner wire centrally into the surface of the glenoid or at your marked point. For guidance, use the drill guide in the correct inclination and version. Insert the reamer eccentrically over the Kirschner wire. Slide the glenoid reamer handle over the Kirschner wire and connect it to the reamer. Ream the glenoid. Position the drill guide over the Kirschner wire. Use the drill bit to drill the first peg hole. Remove the drill bit. Fixate the drill guide with the fixation peg. Use the drill bit to drill the second peg hole. Select and insert the appropriate trial glenoid. Insert the Affinis Glenoid Vitamus uncemented. Carefully use the glenoid impactor to drive the pegs into the holes. The trial cone is screwed into the stem impactor with the screwdriver. Place the appropriate trial head on the trial cone. Remove the trial head with the head extractor and the screwdriver. Remove the trial cone with the screwdriver. 
Pull off the stem impactor with slight hammer strokes on the underside of the positioner handle. Insert the final Affinis short stem with the positioner orthogonally to the resection plane. Impact the stem with the upper fin surfaces parallel to the resection plane. Mount the ceramic head manually with a pushing and rotational movement. Impact the whole prosthesis with the head impactor until the head is flush on the resection plane. 